I'm Dr. Molly Fox from the Department of Biological Anthropology at the University of Cambridge. I'm from Gonville and Keyes College and I'm a Gates Cambridge Scholar. This paper is published in the journal Evolution, Medicine and Public Health and the title is Hygiene and the World Distribution of Alzheimer's Disease. In the modern developed world, we live in highly sanitized environments and as a result, we're not in contact with animals, feces and mud which would have been the norm for the vast majority of human history. We've also eliminated our exposure to harmless microbiota that used to live in our gut and on our skin and in our lungs and in breast milk. And those, uh, those microbes are critical for development of the immune system. And without those microbes and without that proper development of the immune system, people become susceptible to excessive inflammation that might result in allergy, it might result in autoimmune disease, and we believe it also might result in something like Alzheimer's disease. So we also looked at the infectious disease rates in different countries and compared that to the age-adjusted Alzheimer's rates. And what we found was that the higher the infectious disease rate, the lower the rate of Alzheimer's which might indicate some kind of protective effect from maybe microbial diversity, we think, against Alzheimer's risk. So we were interested in looking at certain factors that might help explain the differences in Alzheimer's rates between countries based upon a hypothesis that Alzheimer's rates might vary between countries based on variation in environmental sanitation. And so we looked at different things that correspond to levels of sanitation, such as the percentage of people with access to clean drinking water, or the percentage of people living in cities versus rural environments in different countries. A summary of our findings would basically be that we found a positive association such that countries that had a higher degree of hygiene or a higher degree of sanitation also appeared to have a higher age-adjusted rate of Alzheimer's disease. So there are certain genetic elements that have been shown to modify people's risk of Alzheimer's disease through inflammatory pathways. And what I think is interesting to note is that people in different environments have been shown to, uh, to have or not have that association between these genetic elements and Alzheimer's risk. So in modern Western sanitized environments, carrying this certain genetic variant increases people's risk of Alzheimer's. But it's been shown, especially across rural parts of Africa, people who carry that same genetic element don't exhibit an increased risk of Alzheimer's. With the support of a Gates scholarship, during my PhD at Cambridge, I was able to study Alzheimer's disease within the context of Darwinian medicine, which is a perspective that employs the tools of evolutionary biology towards understanding human health and disease. Alzheimer's is becoming an increasingly global epidemic and there's an increasing need to be able to predict what Alzheimer's rates are going to be across different world regions, and that's gonna help us prepare for the future public health burden that we're going to face. 